Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Christy and today I'm going to be doing a full day of keto eating for you guys and this one's going to be really simple because we have a ton of errands to do. I'm going to take you along with us. Got a little bit of Christmas shopping to finish up and I'm going to show you everything that we eat. Right now I'm thinking big breakfast, small maybe snack bar kind of lunch and then a big dinner and of course you know I'm going to have some snacks in there like I always do. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, I'm going to have my name right here so you guys can go check me out. I do tons of sneak peeks and before and after pictures over there, also family things. We do have a Facebook page now, All Things Keto with Christy. That will be linked below in the description box, so make sure you check me out over there. If you're not already a member of my YouTube family, please go ahead and join. I'd love to have you guys here. Make sure you go ahead and hit that notification bell so that every time I upload a video, you'll be one of the first to know. I did recently contact Perfect Keto to see if they would give me another discount code so that I could share with you guys and I picked out a good one this time. It is the buy one get one 40% off. So if you did not take advantage of the Black Friday through Cyber Monday sale, go ahead and pick up stuff now. You're going to need this if you've started keto or you may be starting keto at the first of the year. This gives you plenty of time to get everything in. This sale is only good for three days so it's good Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. I'll have the dates down here and I'll also have it linked below in the description box but buy one get one 40 is an amazing deal and you know how much I love their collagen and their bars so make sure you check them out So today in my coffee, I put in my Perfect Keto Salted Caramel Collagen. I also put a few drops of Sweet Leaf uh, Sweeteners, and that one was the Vanilla Cream. And I'm trying the Nut Pods for the first time. It's like a keto creamer. I've not tried it. Chris usually does. I very seldom drink coffee. I think this is the first time this month. But I'm just not in the mood for anything else, and I've got to get in on my collagen. We are going to try our best to finish up our Christmas shopping today. We just have a few odds and ends. So I wanna eat a pretty big breakfast because I wanna eat a small lunch and then hopefully come back and eat a big dinner. So I'm gonna start out with an omelet and I always cook my omelets in leftover bacon grease. And I just keep this in a container beside the stove right here. This is just a glass container with a lid. And I picked this up at Dollar Tree. This gives me some healthy fats. The thing about your omelets, you wanna cook those low and slow and they're better, they're not chewy or rubbery. You wanna do that with any of your eggs. So I'm just gonna let this warm up. A little bit of pink Himalayan salt to my eggs. While the egg is over here cooking, I just tore up some of the leftover brisket that we had into little pieces and warmed that in the microwave. And I'm gonna add that to my omelet along with some cheese. I went ahead and flipped it and now I'm just gonna go ahead and turn off the heat because the heat that is already on the oven is gonna go ahead and melt my cheese. So I'm gonna add, I do not measure, you guys know, I do not count anything. I just try to stay low carb and I want to stay under 20 net. So add in my cheese and then I'm going to add my brisket pieces because we do not want that brisket to go to waste. I did pick that up at Sam's and it was really good. Okay, this may sound a little weird, but I'm going to add some barbecue sauce to my omelet because it's got brisket on it. And I love this Primal Kitchen Golden Barbecue Sauce. It is organic and sweet and keto friendly. I don't use it that often because we don't really use condiments that much, but I'm going to go ahead and just put a lot layer on here. I wanted you to see just about how much barbecue sauce I put on there. Probably about one, I would say about a teaspoon maybe. And then I'm just going to go ahead and fold this up and plate it. So that was a two egg omelet with some brisket cheese, a little bit of barbecue sauce, half an avocado, which I'm now going to add some pink salt to and five raspberries because those are getting ready to go bad and I don't want to waste. So that's what breakfast is going to look like this morning along with I'm going to 
fix me a big cup of water. Oh my goodness, check out this omelet. It is so cheesy and gooey and just the right amount of barbecue sauce and brisket. It's delicious. I like to add different stuff to my omelet, so try different combinations. Okay, it's 10 o'clock. We're getting ready to walk out the door and I've got my snack bag. I need to go ahead and put some stuff in it. Like I said, I never leave home without a snack bag full of bars, nut butters, keto-friendly snacks because I don't want to be tempted. So I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to get. What kind of bar do you want? Mm. That one's good. Which one? The uh, brownie one. You want know, the almond brownie? Had these for a while. They're probably getting close to their expiration date. That's what happens when you really stock up. Yeah, 1022. So there's only a few, I think, of the, I think this is actually, yep, this is the last one. I'll take it and eat it so we can open the new box. So this is what I'm gonna take in case I need a snack while I'm out, or this could be my lunch. But I just wanna show you that we do keep the Quest bars here. These are basically for the girls. Chris will eat one occasionally, but Quest bars really aren't keto bars. They are higher protein bars. But this one right here is Briley's absolute favorite. And a lot of you asked me recently about the jelly that I showed and wanted to know the name of it. This one is the Stevia Sweeten and the name of it is Good Good Sweet Sweetness. And it is the Strawberry Sweet Jam with Stevia, no sugar added, and the micros and ingredients are really good on it. I think for a tablespoon, it's only one net carb, which is perfect. For the second week in a row, we are back at the mall and you know this is my least favorite place. Hello. <laughs> but I need to get some stuff at Bath and Body Works. Oh my gosh, look what I just saw in the store. Do not bounce on beds. These are demos, not trampolines. I hear you Sears, I hear you. Our Sears is closing down. Anybody that knows me knows I hate shopping, but I love a good bargain and check this out. Sears has their men's clothes for 70% off. I told Chris, I found him a shirt. Right here, look, it's got a pig on it. It's sectioned up. It says good all over it, but then behind it, definitely for him. <laughs> so this is why we're here, is to pick up some hand soap for Christmas. The dreaded food court, and worse than the dreaded food court is Annie Ann's and the Great American Cookie Company. Let me show you this cookie over here. It looks amazing. This one right here. Oh my gosh, look at that. If I had to get one, that would be the unicorn cake that I want. It would kill me, but I want it. For our weekly trip to the Dollar Tree. Hopefully they'll have some good stuff in here. Okay, I just want to say this. I know this is a keto video, but if you've got to buy your bags, make sure you check Dollar Tree first for the holidays because check these out. Look at that one. Merry Christmas. We have the sloth. It's Christmas, yo. Wrapped in paper. And then they've got these boxes. Look at these boxes this year, and some of these are big. Check this one out. Do not pay a ton for your boxes or your bags when you can get them for a dollar. Okay, today is gonna to be one of those food days, I think, where I'm starving to death. My plan was a big breakfast, big dinner, and a medium lunch. It's just now one o'clock and I'm starving to death. So I'm gonna go ahead and eat my perfect keto bar. I want to talk about perfect keto bars for a minute. A lot of you guys who did some purchasing of these bars on Black Friday through Cyber Monday have been telling me that you were not happy with the consistency or the way they tasted. And a lot of you guys are new to keto and let me say this, you're not going to find a bar that has good macros and good ingredients for keto that tastes like a Snickers. So if you're new to keto, I would say just give it a few more months because I promise you, your taste buds are gonna change. When I first started on keto, I did not like any of the bars at all. I could not get over the texture of anything. I was just complaining probably about every keto product out there. But about five months, four, I think maybe about four, four and a half months into keto, my taste buds had completely changed and that was when I started eating like three of these a day. And these are 
my favorite this one and the cinnamon roll chris likes the almond butter and it's the brownie and the, uh, oh, the salted caramel brownie and the salted caramel Preston likes the lemon poppy seed. I'm not a fan of that one at all, but just give it some time because your taste buds are going to evolve. I'm gonna go ahead and eat my bar now. We've got some more errands to do. And I didn't pack me anything to drink other than a huge turvis of water, which I've already drank. I thought we'd be home by now. So while I was in Dollar Tree, I did pick up a sparkling ice. This one is the orange mango and Chris and I'll probably just split it. So I'm gonna go ahead and eat those now. Stopped by the P.O. Box and got some Christmas cards in today. And I want to thank Shantae and Sylvie for the beautiful Christmas cards. Look at this one with the mason jars. And over here with the Christmas lights. This one reminds me of Stranger Things. Okay, we got a run in the auction house. This is something that's just local to us. If you're ever in my area, make sure you check this place out. I'll show you some of the good deals they have in here. Sometimes it's insane. Chris gets Tiavana green tea in here for like a dollar. I think, oh, last year we got the, what was it? My vacuum? Mm -hmm. My yeah. Dyson for a hundred dollars. Was it or 80? It was a hundred dollars. A hundred dollars for a Dyson. So I'll show you some of the stuff they got in here. So I think we may have got our shopping done today. We did some damage, but check out when we went into the warehouse store, Valley Forge Auction, they had a ton of Christmas sweaters and sweatshirts, like ugly Christmas sweaters and sweatshirts, and they had a dress. They were all just $3 a piece, and look at the one I picked up. You see? It lights up. It's like a dress with a brick fireplace. I'm gonna wear it with a pair of leggings and a pair of boots. I think this is hilarious. Then for Christmas day, I got us all matching Stranger Things ugly Christmas sweaters and we're gonna wear those $3 a piece. So on this side, we have the van being flipped and then the kids chasing it. And then if you turn the sequence the other way, you have the Demogorgon. So we're doing ugly Christmas sweaters this year. So it's about three o'clock and we're home. I told you guys it was going to be one of those days where I felt like I couldn't get full. Right now I'm having one of my favorite combos, which is yogurts and nut butters. Any combo nut butter and a yogurt, delicious but I just got this in the mail yesterday. Lolly's Cookie Clusters came out with a new flavor, lemon drop, oh my gosh. Lemon and blueberry is an excellent combo. So I'm gonna fix this. I'm gonna put some of my almond butter and jelly in here with this. 
I'm gonna sprinkle on some lollies and then I'm gonna put some Cool Whip on it. In case you guys have not figured this out, I eat a lot. I eat all day long, it seems like, and I'm still losing weight. Right now at about two pounds um, a month, so that works fine for me. I did hit goal, remember, so I don't wanna lose too much more. So if I can up my carbs, so be it. So I'll show you what this looks like when I'm done. Look at the chunks that these come in. It is amazing. I like to crumble them up and use it like as granola or a topping. So I went ahead and put my nut butters on there and now I'm just going to crumble some of this up right on top and make a huge mess because I'm using one hand. And now this I just pick up at Walmart. This is the sugar-free heavy whipping cream or whip topping and I'm just gonna put a little bit right on top. Yum. I do have, remember, a discount code for Lolly's Granola. It'll be below. And I also have a discount code, a special discount code this week for the nut butters. Okay, Briley brought a note home today that they're helping out a facility that is in our area. It's called Isaiah House and they take in foster children waiting placement. So I told Chris that we should just run back over to Sears and see what they've got while Briley is in ballet since most of that stuff is like 70, 75% off, something like that. And I got Briley a pair of leggings today for $2. So we're gonna go back, check them out and pick up a few things. Things. That's what they're doing this year for their Christmas party. Instead of exchanging gifts, they're going to donate to Isaiah House. Okay, we stocked up while we were at Sears. Again, everything was anywhere from 60 to 80% off. Chris is wanting to know how much everything would be if we'd have paid retail. I'm dying to know. I may figure it up. I wish that I knew if they were going to take t-shirts and stuff too for next season because look at all this. These are all 70% off. Look. They have so much. If you have a Sears and it's going out of business, you might want to go rack up while you can. Oh, they had underwear packs like um, Joe Boxers. I think those six in a pack for like $2. So we stocked up on those too. But they've got a ton in right now. We are sitting in the car waiting on Briley to come out. It's like 6.05 and I'm absolutely starving to death. This kiddo needs to hurry before I moan arm. I am famished and this is the reason i meal prep here's dinner we have been rushed all day we just ran back in the house it's getting pretty late for dinner i think it's like around seven so i had meal prepped this weekend some crack chicken i'll have that video linked in the cards for you and also down below it's just chicken cream cheese ranch seasonings and cheese and bacon and that's it so I have this huge container what we're gonna do is just warm this up and everybody else is gonna have it on the Sola buns I think I'm gonna go without a Sola bun today I feel like I've been a little carby today with that yogurt which was probably several carbs so I'm gonna go without the bun but everybody else is gonna be eating one. And I'm gonna warm up some green beans on the stove. All I do is just open a can of those, add some bacon grease or butter, maybe some bacon bits, and that's it. That's how fast, if you meal prep like one or two big things like this earlier in the week on nights like tonight, you don't have to worry about eating something that is going to knock you out of ketosis. So here's what we're gonna to have tonight, and I'll show you what it looks like when we get it plated. So I'm working on Chris's sandwich right now. You can see it is still steaming where I just warmed this up in the microwave. He loves pepper jack cheese, so I'm just gonna put a little bit of extra cheese on there for him. I've decided while I was getting his ready that I just couldn't resist. So I'm gonna go with half of a bun. I just took the bottom of one of the solo buns and put it on here. I've got my uh, chicken warmed up and I'm gonna put it on here and I think I'm gonna add something else a little special too. You can also toast these buns and make like little meatball sandwiches out of them. I'll toast them and put butter on them and a little bit of garlic salt. If you can find these and this is something that you will want to incorporate into your keto lifestyle, these types of breads, this one is the one I suggest. I love it. Oh, in case I didn't mention, the entire bun is six net carbs. Again, I just have one for me, but I'm giving Chris a whole one. Kerrigan did make some of the ranch from the Southern Keto Cookbook. We make it a little thicker, so it's like a dip or a condiment, and I'm gonna add a little bit of that to both of the sandwiches. 
Um, I'm gonna say about a teaspoon, maybe. I probably should have just put it on like this and rubbed it in. And then I'm gonna put a little bit on mine too. So this is what we're doing for dinner tonight. Again, I'm doing half of a bun crack chicken with a little bit of the Southern Keto cookbook ranch. I'm also doing some green beans and I added pink salt to all this. Chris's looks the same except he got a little bit more food than I did. He got the whole bun and he got a little bit more green beans. I put some pepper jack cheese on here and also some ranch. So really quick dinner for tonight. Um, how about one more snack before bed? I posted this on Facebook and the recipe's there if you want to go check it out. It's not my recipe though. I made fudge and I have never been able to make fudge ever. Even regular fudge. So to be able to make keto fudge and it turned out amazing and delicious, I was super proud of myself. Let me grab a piece. Look at this. It's creamy, it's delicious. I'm just really impressed with this person's recipe. And I plan on trying to make my own to share with you guys, but this one is so good. It is a keto chow recipe, so there is keto chow in it, just one scoop. But I wanna take a bite of this and let you guys see how creamy this is. You see that? It's not crumbly, chalky. It is just a creamy piece of fudge. It's so good. Okay, a piece of fudge and I'm going to bed. Good night. Thank you so much for hanging out with us today and watching this What I Eat in a Day on Lazy Keto. I hope everyone has an amazing week and I will see you next time. Don't forget about that perfect keto discount code. That's good Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Buy one, get one 40% off. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.